Hey there, strangers! My name's Neos, and this is Exanima! Or Exanima, however you want to pronounce that. That's kind of a weird word. But either way, this is kind of a typical isometric dungeon-crawling western hack-and-slash RPG-style game that is currently in early access that quite a few people have been suggesting that I play recently. I'm guessing it's pretty new. What sets this game apart, though, is that this has kind of an interesting physics-based take on movement and combat, which I'm not entirely sold on, but it's kind of interesting just the same. So I thought it would be kind of fun to show off to you guys, so that is exactly what we are going to do. So, uh, this has, like I said, it has some really interesting physics-based combat, so I think what I'm going to do first is I'm going to try out the arena so I can kind of show off how the combat works, because in the new game, it's got kind of, um, I'm not sure how far along it is, but it does have sort of a campaign sort of scenario, which you're just kind of dropped into a dungeon. But there's not a lot of combat in that, at least not for me, because I die really, really fast. So I'm going to show off the arena combat, and I'm going to go with Novice, because I'm not going to survive Expert. And then we'll go into the other version after that. So, here we go, we're going to create our character. It will be me, I shall be male, because I usually am. Let's see, physique. Oh, this is terrible, I remember this does crazy things. I can be a little bitty scrawny guy, or I could be... <laughs> Why would you play that in a hack and slash? Uh, he would not survive. Does he have muscles? Actually, if I do, which way would be no muscles? There's no muscles and he's fat. So we're just going to go right dead center in the middle. I'm just going to go with that. Uh, height. Wow. <laughs> I love being able to fiddle with slime. Oh, his hair is going crazy. Oh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, that is awesome. I love it. Do it again. Do it again. Oh, that's crazy. All right. So we're just going to go with, um, decently high, high, decently tall guy. Your age. How old can you make someone look? I guess it just makes you kind of scrawny. That's interesting. I'm just gonna leave it down there. Uh, we'll just leave him a typical pale dude, because I'm a typical pale dude. I think it actually saved my settings from before, so I, my hair is kind of like that. More or less that sort of color. And we're gonna go with that, because this guy's gonna die really soon anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So let's go ahead and equip him with some clothes, because he probably needs some clothes. So we do that. These clothes, from what I can tell, don't really matter. And we can pick some weapons! So we can do, like, one-handed combat with a shield, we can do a two-handed axe, a club, all sorts of things, but I I, personally, I'm a fan of swords, so we're gonna give him a giant-ass two-handed sword. And now create your character, and send him off to his doom, because he is going to die. Alright, so, as you can see here, uh, one, your character will move around very strangely. Because, at least while you're in combat mode, it took me forever to find out there was a combat and a non-combat mode. Um, but when you're in combat mode, your character will always face the mouse. So, and the WASD is still forward, back, left, and right, so it makes it really kind of weird. But either way, oh, cool, he knocks him off the wall. Could you give me some space? I'm trying to figure out how to move here. I'm going to play this in a bit. All right, so what you can do is when you click, well, actually, when you're doing nothing, your guy will automatically block, which is really, really useful. Ow, you hit me in the leg. That did not count. Okay, get out of combat. Go over here. Run. Go. There you go. So when you click with your mouse, your character will actually start moving his sword. So you have to kind of swing across like this. So you kind of control it with your mouse, even though it's pretty basic. It's just like swing and don't swing. That's pretty much it. But you can make your character just kind of go hog wild with a sword. And as you can see, it's kind of weird. From what I can tell, it looks like the, the leg placement and the weapon placement are kind of what's in control, and the physics just kind of make the ragdolly character try to keep up with where everything else is. So it's really kind of hard to kill anything or to survive. But there's kind of a char- I'm dead. I'm already dead. There's kind of a charm just how weirdly difficult it is. It's kind of goofy, and I kind of like it. But we're gonna see if maybe I can get through one or two fights here. I've played this a little bit. I've gotten through, I think, a maximum of like two whole fights against these guys. So what's good, at least what it seems to me, is get him to swing. Hey, move forward. Kind of very wonkily move. There you go! Swing! Hit him! Oh, come on! There we go. Come on. It, what's strange is once you're in this combat, I don't know, he like moves like one square at a time, even though it's not tile-based, which is a little bit weird! Get him! Ooh, that was right in the throat! Come on, ow, oh, that was right in the crotch! I prefer to get hit in the throat, please! That'd be great! Come on, swing! Looks like I may only be able to swing twice before he wears out, I'm not sure. But it does look like he has- oh, he actually has blood on his uh, sword! I actually did not notice uh, that I could uh, zoom in until just now. Come on, swing! Get him! Give him the leg! Oh, sweep the leg! There we go! Come on! Come on, bring it on, guy in green! I don't even know why I'm fighting you! It's apparently something I'm dead again! <laughs> this is a very, very unforgiving combat system, as you can kind of tell here, but we're gonna get through this guy at least. I want to beat this guy to show you that 
It's possible to kill something, I don't know. I, I believe, uh, the first time I tried this, it took me like two tries to kill somebody. So maybe it'll take me two tries this time. Ha! 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 <laughs> it is so hard to actually swing with any level of accuracy. Your character's kind of wobbles around. See, I'm not sure if I like how the combat is done, because your character always faces towards your mouse. So if I have to swing, I have to click over here and then swing this way. But while I'm like mid swing before I click the guy starts turning around which is kind of weird so it's kind of like you're having to like click and swing while your character is mid turn and you just have to hope that you manage to do it before the physics catch up there you go I got one whole guy booyah and now it's time for a guy with a what is that a sickle or something hello how you doing could you back up just a little bit yes get him in the back no you're not taking me down you're not taking me down get him ha ah! So it's, it seems kind of like the best way to fight these people. Ah, get, you got his neck. Come on, just swing. You've got a big old sword. Ah, it's to, no, no. It's let them swing and just block it. And then just, just swing at them. Just swing like crazy. There we go. I got him once. I don't know what his health is. This, oh, I never actually noticed I have health down here. That is really useful. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Ha! I've got no control over this dumb sword. Could you please hit somebody? That would be great. And by somebody, I mean that guy because there's only one guy in here. Ha! Ow! I needed that spleen! Thank you, get him. Yes! I've taken down two! I actually don't know if I've made it through two, have I? Let's see if this guy looks familiar. Hello? Ooh, you've got a shield! I don't know if I've gotten that far. Yes! Your shield means nothing to me! I'm swinging the wrong way, dude! Pl please! Do no! No! Let go of my ribcage! I need that! This is not Mortal Kombat! You're not allowed to just take that out when you want! Get ready? And swing! Yes! Your stop facing the wrong way! No! I hate that it follows the mouse so much! It's so awkward! Yes, I got him in the leg! Ha! Ah! There we go! You yes! Yeah! <laughs> this is easily the farthest I have ever gotten in this, and it's beautiful! Now let's see how this guy's gonna annihilate me. What you got? He's got is that just I, this guy's just got a sledgehammer. Is a sledgehammer a weapon that was used in medieval times? I don't know. Ha! Ah, get him! Give him the leg! Come, no! Stop hugging him! Stab him with your sword! Get, no! Face the wrong way! Come back up! No! I don't know if I can block that. It's probably pretty... You've got chainmail armor! That is not cool! Not cool at all! No! <laughs> Getting hit by a freaking sledgehammer to the face! Probably not the best scenario! Come on! Stop! He should... I don't even... I don't know when I'm hitting him sometimes. It kind of seems like I'm just kind of placing my sword against him, and he m it's not actually doing damage. I don't know what counts as an impact sometimes. Unless it makes blood come out like that. I This is still the best I've done, which I'm totally... No, you hit me in the foot! How did you know that was my weak spot? Even I didn't know that was a weak spot. All right, so that is the combat system right there, which it's kind of... It's quirky, and I kind of like it. But now we're going to go on into the actual campaign mode. Like I said, or quest, I guess it would be. This is in early access, like I said, so I don't know how in-depth this is, or if it's complete or anything. It's obviously not complete, but I don't know how far I can get into this. I've tried this probably for about an hour. I think my playtime of this was about 50 minutes. I have no idea what I'm doing, so this should be fun. So here we go. I'm going to go ahead and outfit you the same way, because these are the clothes that I like. It, as far as I can tell, these don't really matter. And does it, you can pick whatever colors you want to put on if you just want to give them a different colored outfit. I just kind of like the white and all of that. So skill progress is that. I don't think I can actually do anything with any of these. See, I'm, I'm kind of wondering if these are attacks you can unlock. So if I swing back and forth, I'll do one. This is like a swing, swing, swing. And this is a whatever that's supposed to be. I have no idea. This is early access, so it doesn't have the... Any tutorials? Guess they don't have the best tutorial. It doesn't have a tutorial. So I'm still kind of in the dark on what we're doing. But either way, we're going to go into this dungeon. We are going to have a grand old adventure. And we're going to die in horrible, horrible ways. So here we go. So, like in many Western-style dungeon crawlers, I have awoken in some sort of dungeon or something like that. So, as you see, when you're not... This, this has some really weird movement mechanics, which I'm going to talk about first, and then we'll go on our adventure. So, when you're not moving, your character seems to move in 90 degree angles, which I don't like. It's really strange. You can't actually hold down right click and he'll move around like that. As you can see, uh, the thinking get kind of weird when you're moving over stuff. Like I said, this is physics-y. So when you're moving over stuff, your guy can trip and fall and get stabbed in the back by people who are chasing you, which is kind of weird. So while you're not moving, you move in 90 degree angles, which I'm not the best, biggest fan of. But while you're moving, you can move however you want. And you can kick around torches and not burst into flames, which is uh, probably a good thing. So... Before we move here, you would think, like, let's grab that torch. That's probably a good idea. 
This has the weirdest loot picking up system I've ever seen. So I believe I can actually, can I rotate? I, there's no way to rotate the camera. I can't remember what it is now. Hello? Ah, right, oh, there we go, center click. Okay, so we can do this. You can't actually get like a very close view. It is very isometric, it's old school like that. Um, but how would you pick up this torch? You would think maybe you press E, maybe you press enter, maybe you press space. It's none of those. Oh, space actually rotates your camera. That's interesting. All right, so, but we can click it. Clicking it will actually do something. So there you go. Here's your torch, here's its weight, its impact, and its balance. But what do you do with that? Nothing! That does nothing! However, you can actually pick up things! You can pick up anything in the environment and use your telekinesis to fling it around the map! Well, you can't actually fling it, sadly. It just stops wherever you let go, which... I really wish you could throw it. I want to throw things at enemies, but you can't do that. But putting it on him... Does it work? You would think putting it on your guy would work if you could pick things up like that. I do like the dynamic lighting. That is really cool. So what we need to do is you can open your inventory, and then you can pick it up from the ground, levitate it across the room, and then you can drop it into your inventory, which makes it somehow go out. I don't know. But if you take it from the ground or from your inventory and put it on your person, then he's holding it. See, that is really, really weird. Like, I don't... It's not bad. Once It took me a while to figure that out, but once you figure it out, that's not really that bad. It's just kind of strange. I don't know what to think about that. What's kind of cool is you can pick up things, and you can just move them around, and it will just physics. You can physics stuff all over the place. You can go Skyrim and start trying to put buckets on people's heads, which is amusing, and I rather like that. So, what do you say? We go out here, and oh yeah, it took... It, it's, the opening doors is weird too, it's not a button. You click it and drag it and fling it open, which admittedly is kind of fun if you're trying to, uh... You can slam this in people's faces, and I'm... Actually, I don't know if you can knock people down with this. I can't remember. Can I knock myself down? I can bump myself. I don't seem to like it very much. I'm gonna go thump. Either way. So, you can pick up some things, but not everything. It'd be kind of nice if there was some sort of indication for that. So, we are now in a dungeon of some sort. I have no idea why we're here. I have no idea what our objective is. I do know, however, I can pick up crates and just kind of drop them on places, which is kind of cool. So, let's open this door. Oops, this one oh, that door's locked. All right, so we're gonna go back this way. So it took me forever to figure this out, that there is a combat button. You press tab and go into combat so you can actually start swinging things. I didn't know that because the game does not tell you. Like, it has no tutorial yet. So it did not tell me that whatsoever. So I was running around being chased by enemies and having no clue how to do anything about it. The door's also locked. I, also, these uh, levels are not randomly generated. I don't know if they're gonna be in the future, but at the moment, this is the exact same map I've played before uh, the three or four times that I've tried it. So this, I, I I know some of the stuff that's here, but um, I don't know where I was going with that thought. So but I was like running around like, how do I swing this? Can, is this a weapon? I don't know. I need to find an actual weapon. But if you go press tab, then you can use the weapon. You can slam doors shut with your torch, which is kind of weird. I don't even know. So it's, it's weird that you use just telekinesis to move things around. It's very strange. But at the same time, it's kind of charming in its quirkiness. I don't know. I do have a, a soft spot for some quirky, physics-y style games. So it looks like this area here is completely pointless because I cannot do anything here. So, I, I, if you press... Your arm just got stuck on that. If you press uh, shift, you will run, which is really useful for movement. Because like I said before, it uh, the 90 degree movement I'm not a fan of. You can, like I said, uh, hold down right click and you'll move around. I think you can still hold shift. So yeah, you can move around like this. If you like, uh, I guess, Diablo-esque controls, it's a little wonky to me though. Either way, let's open this. I believe there's a guy in here. Hello, friend. How are you? So. From what I saw, I th maybe this game did have a little bit of a tutorial, I can't remember. It says, oh no, that um, the, the people around here will remember your actions, meaning that sometimes if you don't attack them, they may not become hostile to you, and they're supposed to uh, like analyze your movements and stuff, and you can maybe not have them hate you and stuff. However, this guy right here is a complete jerk. Oh no, no, um, you know what, we're gonna try this. Hey buddy, follow me, come out in here. You come in here, and we're gonna try, can I do this? Actually, I put stuff on your head. Hello? Can I stop you with crates? Oh, I can't pick up the crates. You know what? It's fine. It's fine. No! Close the door! Close the door! There you go! Uh, you can't open doors, can you? No, you can't, because you're some kind of crazy dungeon dweller. I don't know. It's it's very strange. But either way, let's move on forward. I'm probably half dead because I got hit in the uh, the back a couple times there, but that's fine. There's nothing to- Hello, buddy. I didn't know there was going to be- You know what? We're going to fight you. We're going to fight you with the power of fire! Can I set you on fire? Come on, set on fire! Set on fire! Don't trip on that giant 2x4 that's back there. Come on, get him! Get- uh, hit him! Come on, 
Come on, and ha! 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 I'm failing miserably. I'm getting turned around. I hate this camera. Yeah, burn him! Just burn him! Can't, you've got a torch! Burn him with it! That would be. Don't back into him! We're not dancing! What are you doing? Come on, it's fine. It's fine. Run! Never mind! We're running away now! Get out, get out of my way! Let go of him! I don't want him! Okay, um. Yeah. Okay, gotta turn the camera. I'm gonna go this way. Going this way. Don't die. Don't die. You're dying. I said don't do that. Ah. So, like I said, a little bit wonky, very unforgiving. This is, well, it's a permadeath uh, game as well. As you can see, I die. I have to start the entire thing over up to the point of character creation. But we're just gonna go ahead and restart this and see if we can get a little bit farther than that. So, um, actually, there's a weapon that I remember that I can pick up here. The first time I played this, I pl actually, the first time I played this, I never found a weapon. I didn't know this torch could be used as a weapon. However, I think the last time I was playing this, I was fiddling around with this, and with the physics. I was just like, play, oh yeah, <laughs> I already did that wrong. Hold on a second, grab that, put it right there, there we go. So I was fiddling around with the physics of this, and just kind of putting this on this guy's head because I found it funny. And this right here, this is an item you can pick up. That little bitty thing right there, it's not... Well, again, this is an early access, so this is understandable. But there's no way to tell what you can pick up, what is a weapon, what is clickable, all that sort of stuff. However, this right here seems to be a weapon I can use. What it, what exactly is it? It's a metal stake, so I can destroy all those metal vampires that are running around. So now, do I have... Does it only use this one? Okay, so I can swing a, a piece of metal at people. That's all you do. Uh, that's great. Right, so here you go. Can't, I can't stay. Ow, my face. Excuse me, pardon me. I'm coming through here. Thank you. So, uh, I don't think you can actually stab people with it, at least from what I know. There could be other moves you can work out, but I don't know what they're at the moment. Hello? D no! You fool! Get up! There's monsters around here! I love these just face plants. That is awesome. Yeah. It's it's wonky for actual like serious control, but at the same time I love goofy physics that screw up like that. Is this the way it went before? I thought I went a different way. I'm not sure. We're gonna go this way either way. I'm pretty sure I went the No, that door was locked, that's right. And this is where that jerk is, and I think there's another jerk in that other room over there. So we're just gonna go forward this way. And there's actually one weapon I did find a couple of playthroughs. It turned to there you go. It's so weird to turn while you're not moving. Um, this door is open. Should I be worried this door is open? I don't know. Maybe. So I don't know if there's an objective for this yet, or if it's just kind of, um... Just to show you what kind of game it is. It's... it's at the moment, it might very well just be kind of a... Hey, how you doing? Uh, surviving this, uh, dungeon place. I think... Are you friendly? Could you maybe be friendly? Hello? How are you doing? I'm not gonna attack you. Attack that guy! You, you try to attack me and hit that guy. Maybe they'll fight each other. No? Oh! Hi! I did nothing to you! I did nothing at all! I was standing- I was trying to have a calm, polite conversation, and you just had to be a jerk. D d right! Go to the right! I need to turn! Turn faster! Hello! Excuse me! Goodbye! Shut the door! Sh come, turn! Yeah, yeah, go! Need to! Shut door! There we go! Hey, can I hit you with the door? Come on, hit me with the door! Give it a turn? I wanna hit this guy with the door. Get hit that guy with the door. No, you just let him in, you fool! What have you done? What have I done? I'm a fool! Here we go! Okay, so I believe in here there is some kind of weapon. However, I can I pick? I know that I can pick up some stuff. No! No! I can pick up these! I can use the saw horses as my defense! Oh, I am bad at this! Like, seriously bad at this! That's okay. We're gonna give this one more shot. Uh, at least one more shot, and uh, see if maybe I can make some progress. Because again, I don't know what this game is just yet, but it's kind of interesting. It's got some wonky controls that I'm not the biggest fan of, but at the same time, I kind of appreciate some of the stuff it's doing. It's it's being different, and I I always appreciate people trying to innovate and do new things. There we go. And I also love physics-based games. If you know me, you know I love me some physics. So you over here, grab this. Here we go. There you go. Now you got yourself a spiky thing. You know, I probably should have tried to fight that guy. Or maybe, no, no, I shouldn't. There was three of them. That would have been a stupid back up. Got to back up to open this door. There you go. All right, so to the right we go. I took, the camera does seem to get above you a lot, which is a little bit weird. I wish I could lower it down just a little more so I could see in front of me. But I guess it is an isometric uh, dungeon crawler sort of game, which is, um, it's kind of tradition, that's what it is. I smacked myself in the face with that door. But that's fine, that's nothing to worry about. However, I think that, um, I think that room I went into a minute ago had the one weapon I've managed to find in this game, other than this, this, um, metal spike I've got here. I didn't have that before, let's see. I think I made this. Hello? Here's, here's a sawhorse. Want the sawhorse? 
Yep, there we go. Oh wait, oh, can I find that wagon wheel again? I managed to get a wagon wheel stuck on my arm and I was just running around with a wagon wheel just hanging off his arm and I couldn't get it off, it was pretty funny. It's so, why am I able to lift this? Can you make barricades? I don't know, it's very strange. It's very, it almost seems kind of arbitrary what you can pick up, because I can pick up that. Can't pick up this, I can't pick up these. Oh, I can't pick up those, there you go. Here, have a sawhorse right to your head. Oh no, oh, I've got a sawhorse, yeah! <laughs> Did you just smack yourself in the face with a sawhorse? Hello? Buddy? How are you? Would you like a sawhorse? Oh, come on! I want to hit you with a sawhorse. I can't turn around fast enough. Can I, I can't move on. Can I move? No, I can't move while I'm holding stuff. No! Don't fall down. Okay, we're gonna take this. We're gonna take this with us. We're gonna try to- Ooh, baby, bucket! Let's put a bucket on his head Skyrim style. Let's try it. Hey, hey you! I, I can't throw it. I want to throw it. Why can't it be physics -y in that sense? Okay, it, there we go. Hello? Come back! I want to screw with your AI just a little bit if you don't mind. I think he does. He minds a lot. No! No! Can I put this in my inventory? Hello? Inventory? See, again, I don't know what I can pick up what I can't. Okay, if you come back, I'm gonna put you- I'm gonna give you a bucket hat. Let's take it to you. you. have a bucket hat? Bucket hat? I think- Oh, uh, re-centers it every time I pick it up, doesn't it? Or does it? Here we go. Bucket hat! No, rotate the camera. I need to be able to not put it on his thing. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Yes! I've got a bucket for a hat! Can I use that as a helmet? Do I have the most awesome wonky helmet anyone has ever seen? Yes, I do! That's awesome! I didn't know you could do that! Oh, that's beautiful! So now, I am immune to headshots. However, I, um, I don't think I can see. I'm kind of, uh, I've crippled myself vision-wise, which is not cool. Is this the room I was in earlier? I'm getting so turned around. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. It's just kind of, I thought I would just show off what this game is because it's kind of neat, even if I have no clue what I'm supposed to be doing. Let's see if I can actually beat somebody. Now that I have the best helmet that anyone has ever seen, let's see if I can actually beat one of these guys up. Or actually, no, wait, where's that? There's a, oh, hello, how are you? Hey buddy, how you doing? I've got me a weapon. Hiya! Stab him! No, my helmet! My helmet is gone! Get him! Get him! He's only got a piece of wood! He's got a piece of wood! Get him! D don't hug him! You know, you know what? Defeat him with love! Love and kindness and happiness and stabbing! Stabbing is good! Oh, no, come on. Come on. Yeah, turn around. Stop going all wonky. Come on. Swing, buddy. Swing, I dare you. I dare you swing! Uh, uh, didn't work! Did not work! I'm not doing any damage here! It's, I can't tell when it's actually doing damage, or when it's just kind of, um, my arm is running into the guy physics -y wise and then nothing happens. I really don't know. Ah! But as you can see, like I said, this is why I want to show off the arena, because combat doesn't happen too much in here, and I won't get very far, because I'm going to die, because that's, that's just what's going to happen. See? Like, oh, I thought I died. thought I died. Okay, back up, back up. Okay, ready? We're gonna get this. We're gonna get this. We're gonna run at this guy, and then STAB! Yes? No! No, I thought I got him! I was so sure! Urgh! Come on! Just stay. You've got a stake! Pretend he's a vampire! Stab him! You're- He's holding his arm behind his back and setting his own hair on fire! That is so foolish! It's terrible! Could you- This is the wonkiest combat system anyone has ever devised! But it's- It's awesome and terrible at the same time! I'm not sure what I think of it anymore! Come on, you swing! Swing, I'm gonna back up and stab! Come on, ah! It's not stabbing! You're backing into him! That's not even the way I'm facing! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him faster! You're just dying! You know what? Fine! No! I wanted to turn- turn- Run! Run away! Run away, you fool! Okay, we're going this way! Bye! See you later, weird dungeon drawler! I'll see you later! I'm going this way, I'm just leaving. I am leaving, I'm going to leave- Close away these doors! No! No! Come on, come on, come on, come on! Close it, close it, close it! Yeah! There you go, sucker! Cause you don't- Hello! How are you? D don't mind me! I, I wasn't trying to beat up your friend over there! No! No! I just got here! Why do you hate me so much? Close the door! Close the door! There we go! Okay, so, for whatever reason, they cannot open doors, which I am very thankful for. Wait a minute, aren't these something? Is this, uh, are these potions or anything around here? I, I'm, I feel like I remember finding some, like, drinkable food or something. Maybe? Let's try uh, inventory. Is this a thing? Is this a thing you can use? No, no, it's- but why can't I pick this up? Why would I want that? I, I don't know. Can I get plates? I'll get a bowl! Bowl in your head. Yeah! Oh, you had it balanced so perfectly, that was great. I, I don't remember what that sledgehammer is, and that's kind of annoying me, because I really wanted to show off that I could find a sledgehammer. But you have seen the sledgehammer already, because that one AI uh, was using that in the tournament arena mode, so I guess that is okay. Can I let this? Can I let this? No. No. Ooh, I can move that! Wh why would I want to? I don't know, but it's a thing I can do, apparently. Okay, we are going to... I'm trying to go a little bit further here. I'm, when I die, I guess that'll be the end of this because I know it's going to happen soon. I was really hoping I'd fly in that sledgehammer. Which way did I come in? 
I've already forgotten. I think it was this door, so I'm gonna go out this way, maybe. Hello? Don't run anything, thank you. Okay, is there anything over here? Are, there po are these potions? Maybe these are potions. Uh, ooh, is that a thing? Is that a thing? What's that? A, let's see, a bottle. Uh, the contents of the bottle have been long since evaporated. That's not cool. How about you? Uh, jar, wait, jar, uh, seems to have turned to dust. Awesome. Uh, it's just a bottle. What are these? It's, a uh, also a bottle. There's nothing in any of these just yet. But again, once again, this is, ooh, a book. A, a log of rations or food. In each entry, the same three items are listed over and over. Numbers received, distributed, given to the, da, da, da. uh, okay. That's, uh, cool, I guess. I don't really know. But this is, um, early access, so there's very good chance that there's just not all of the content here. Yes! <gasps> Sledgehammer! I found it! I found you, Sledgehammer! Um, oh, I gotta get over there. I gotta get over there. The physics, the physics are not gonna be my friend. Okay, we go this way. Come on, get out of the chair. Get out of the chair. Yes! We found a Sledgehammer! Can you use this? Hey, can I pick that up? Hello? Yes, I can! I can't use it, though. It's kinda cool. Okay, so you, Sledgehammer. The weight is huge, impact is huge, balance is terrible, and crushing power is good. Alright, so we're gonna give you a Sledgehammer! Which puts away your torch, which is not good, because- Ooh! The, the wagon wheels! Is, uh, yeah, here we go. Wagon wheel. Give him wagon wheel. Come on, get the wagon wheel on him! Get the wagon wheel on him! I want a wagon wheel stuck to my face! Here we go. Get it! Get, or you can just crush yourself with it. I don't think you can die from physics-based impact yet. I don't know if that's gonna be a thing, but I, I'm kinda halfway- YES! I've got a wagon wheel! Take that, physics! There we go. And now, I am the wagon wheel warrior! Fear me! And my wagony wheel derpy wonky walkingness! Alright, so I gotta find somebody. I guess wait. No! No, <laughs> he's getting knocked over by his own wagon wheel. No! I was- I wanted that! Come on, one more time. Just doesn't fit. Yeah, there we go! Hello! We're going this way, don't mind me! Ah, oh, it's so dumb. Why do I like things like that? I don't know. Hey, we're gonna find a guy. Who's a guy? Who's a, a guy? I'm, I'm trying to get out. You're, you're blocking the door. It's not cool. I don't appreciate that. Okay, I, I guess I have to leave the wagon wheel there. Could you- Could you get out of the way? That guy is physically blocking the door, and I don't think that's actually supposed to be a game mechanic. Hit! Yeah, open the door. Knock, knock. Excuse me. Can I come through? Knock it on the door. Come on. Here's Johnny. Nah, no, no destructible terrain. Okay, fine. Guess we'll go back the other way. I'll fight one dude. I will die a horrific death, and then I guess that will be it for this episode. So, like I said, this game is—it's got potential. I—I I like the ideas that are here, even if it's not executed perfectly just yet. But I want to leave this room. Could you not be such a jerk? Okay, move. No, I want to use this. Gotta get around you first, because I'm gonna get stuck. Okay, here we go. Here we go! Sledge, have a fight! Ow! Could you- no. No. Kill him. Wanna kill one dude? Be great if I kill one dude! He's got an axe. Axes are good. Uh, no. No. No, come on. Bring it on. Bring it on, sucker! Ow! Ow! No! Get up! Get up! He slammed me into a wall. He, like, hooked me with his freaking. Oh, there we go! With his axe! Turn around! Turn around! Turn around! Block! Block! You're up against the wall! It's not cool! Ah! Get him! Just slam him into the wall! Come on! You can do it! I believe in you! Uh, no! No! Took a hit! Took a hit! I'm dying! I've died! No! The crazy dungeon dwellers have won once again! Ugh. So like I said, combat is wonky, very unforgiving. I have yet to kill anybody in the actual, like, survival dungeon-y area. I got a couple in the arena, so I will take that victory. But it's- this game is very strange. This game is just strange, and I kinda like it, even if it has some things about it that I'm not the biggest fan of. But honestly, I think this game has a lot of potential. Again, it is in early access, so I don't know exactly where they're gonna go with it. But I- I like the physics-based combat. I like that you actually control your actions to an extent with your mouse. It would be kinda cool if they went to a one-to-one -one sort of, uh, translation, so, like, I could actually control my swings perfectly instead of just kinda wildly swinging in a general area and hoping to hit something. Despite the fact that is honestly rather amusing. Hopefully at some point later in development there'll be some sort of context or some sort of story uh, to let you know what's going on or some sort of objective. That's the part I would like the most. Honestly, I would expect that it's probably just gonna be to the extent of you woke up in a dungeon, escape the dungeon, and this is your adventure. But you know, as long as there's some sort of end game to this, I think it could be pretty cool. 
And also, hopefully at some point, they'll add some sort of visual indicator to let you know what sort of stuff you can pick up or what sort of stuff you can equip. And actually, what you saw me play right there, that's about as far as I've ever actually managed to get into this game, which I know is really sad, but hopefully, if it's not there yet, at some point you'll have consumable items to heal yourself up, and maybe different kinds of armor so you can get the chainmail like that one guy had, or, you know, a helmet or something like that. That very well may be in the game already. I honestly don't know because that's as far as I've gotten. But if that's not in there yet, hopefully that'll be added in a future update. I'm sure it probably will be because this is a Western-style dungeon-crawling RPG. That's the sort of thing that tends to be in these. But hopefully that'll be out there because that would be really cool. But either way, this has been Exanima. I hope you guys have enjoyed my crazy dungeon-crawling hack-and-slash RPG action and all the really weird physics and deaths that ensued. Take care, and I will see you next time.